Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And today we really want to talk about a marvelous and seabrush tutorial that, that we made a while ago. Mm. This is, um, I would say, an excellent way for anyone looking to both get into Marvelous Designer as an introduction and also how to work with Marvelous and ZBrush. Because I see this a lot from people and it's something that's been requested a lot. Mm. Um, how do you transition your meshes from Marvelous into ZBrush and then how do you continue to work with them? And that's exactly what we cover in this. So we give you a fairly, um, a fairly in-depth introduction to Marvelous Designer, to most of the concepts and most of what you need to know. We do also have a free introduction on our YouTube channel that you, you can check mm. out. And it's, it's everything that you need to know in order to get started. So we cover everything from importing your avatars and how to set up Marvelous correctly. We talk about how to work with scale. Scale is a big thing in Marvelous and especially going back and forth between ZBrush and Marvelous. ZBrush is terrible with scale mm -hmm. and Marvelous relies on scale, relies on real world scale because you're simulating. So we cover things like, um, you know, your grain direction. How does that impact the way your, your fabrics flow? Different kinds of materials. How do we set up different materials? Customizing your materials. And one really important thing that I, 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 th I want to talk about here is sort of related to our observation video we did a while back is how to look at fabrics and uh, infer how do they look sort of when they're flattened. So we, we go through a 2D kind of approach on 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 reference images finding reference images and and seeing how to lay them out as real fabrics yeah from a technical point of view marvelous designer is not terribly hard it's all no it's it, so simple it's all the do you know tailoring do you know how to mm. actually observe reference here? yeah uh, another thing as well is that marvelous designer is is really good for this kind of stuff but like more than saying it's really how to use sort of marvelous and the seabrush together yeah because they complement each other so well seabrush yeah. is fantastic for sculpting but you don't want to sculpt cloth from scratch. Like that is an <laughs> insane thing to do. Well, Marvelous Designer is also not fantastic for the finaling. Like if you really want like mm. all the fine wrinkles in here. So we're really just combining the, t the tools which are fantastic at what we're doing into into like the perfect combination here. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a when you when you go from Marvelous to ZBrush, there are a few things you need to know in terms of the cleanup process. Because mm -hmm. Marvelous doesn't necessarily produce the best mesh for you to work with. Yeah. And and also like figuring out where to where to place our details because the fabric that we're creating is a very it's like a windbreaker very light kind of fabric so it creates a lot of folds mm. and sometimes you don't want all those folds but looking at how marvelous simulates and create folds we can then sort of get inspired and then do our own folds as well be like okay let's it would be natural to have a fold here yeah. so we go through some of those things in seabrush as well and. The, the real the the way that we work in Marvelous is very very simple. It's like what we teach in all our videos. It's always from from very simple to more complex. You know, mm. you got to break it down into its smaller parts. So it's blocking out the the jacket that we'll be doing, and we we work with the internal lines in in Marvelous, which allows us to create uh, wrinkles in specific places or the appearance that there is a seam on on our fabric. Another really important one that we discuss is using morph targets or blend shapes, whatever software you come from, mm -hmm. in Marvelous Designer. So for this, it's just creating two poses in ZBrush, one which is the default T-pose and the other one which is our posed pose. We take that into Marvelous in order to give a, uh, like a more realistic sim of how it would look on, on your model. It can be tricky if you, if you put your fabrics on a model that's already posed because you have to work with it. Whereas if you work with it in a T pose, you know that, okay, I do this thing over here, I do the same thing over there. And then once you pose it, you get a better result. I mean, from my personal experience, at least. Mm -hmm. And a really key thing as well is gonna be, like I mentioned, how to get it from Marvelous into ZBrush. I think that's what people are most curious about. Um, because some people might know Marvelous and some people might know ZBrush. So I'm trying to be as in depth with the uh, exciting, uh, export settings as I possibly can. <laughs> um, going through the pros and cons of, of different things, you know, whether we do thin or thick, having our welded or, not, or unwelded fabrics and how to work with both of those. And finally, we're, we'll be jumping into ZBrush where we sort of prep our mesh and 
figure out how to split it into maybe some polygroups, look at look at the UVs, how do we isolate different different areas of of our jacket, and then just start detailing until we have our our finished piece. So all in all, it's a great series for anyone who's interested in working with Marvel's designer and ZBrush together, whether you're more advanced mm. in Marvelous, but you're curious about learning how to, well, first, how to make something specifically like this, like the Windbreaker, or if you just want to learn how to use it with ZBrush. Yeah. Or if you're a complete beginner and you, you never opened Marvelous designer before and you just want to get started with this, it's, it's really good for that. I, I highly recommend um, checking it out if you are interested in doing anything to do with cloth. Because yeah. sculpting cloth in Seabrush by hand is is madness. <laughs> it is the most insane thing you can possibly think of doing. And it takes hours. It takes hours. And, and it honestly doesn't look very good. Uh, I, I met a guy who, like 10 years ago, who was a modeler at Pixar. Fantastic modeler. And he was, he was saying the way he did cloth was to not do cloth. He avoided <laughs> cloth like the plague. And he was like, an absolutely insane modeler. <laughs> and if those guys can't do cloth yeah. by hand, I mean, I'm not saying you can't, I'm just saying it's hard. There's a reason why specific software like this exists. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. So we really hope that you, you enjoyed this. We we also have some more Marvelous Designer training coming mm. up in the future as well, which is taking the principles here and um, just showing how to use them for different kind of cloth. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, if you're curious about this, head over to our website and see if this course is for you. Mm. Thanks, guys. Thank you.